Let's get started Alexa in Phoenix in just one video. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my five years of experience and the most important things that you need to learn in just one video to start using Alexa in Phoenix. I know that it seems to be a lot in just a few minutes, but what is the essential to you start coding with Alexa in just one video? So let's go ahead. So usually what you hear about Alexa, you hear that Alexa is a good language for functional programming language. You're gonna learn, you're gonna uh, listen that Alexa is a fault tolerant language. Uh, I could give you a lot of examples. Uh, you could, uh, could uh, say that Elixir is a mutability and functional programming as well. But I would rather to share with you as a software engineer daily what is important as well. When we talk about software development, uh, two tools are crucial for us. Some of them are testing and another one is uh, developer experience. I know that we don't listen to that a lot, but later we have this. Let's take a look uh, on my computer local machine, uh, those examples. So right here, uh, when we have Elixir, so you just can install Elixir easily, and then you could create a project using ix-smix. And we could say uh, product Activity Elixir. So this is an application. Uh, EX, sorry, mix new productivity elixir. And when you when we open the productivity under for elixir, so this is a default elixir application. So when we talk about productivity in test, you could see that this project already gave to us for us the test folder where you can have your first code as already tested. And when you run only mix test dash dash cover, as you can see, I it was necessary I create tools or creating uh, uh, install libraries and doing a lot of stuff to start a simple application with Elixir. When we talk about Elixir, the mix is fantastic. We're gonna see more about uh, Elixir as well, but this tool that we have as the full is the uh, mix. And mix is something that helps us for testing, compiling, creating project, managing dependencies, and also automating tasks, which is, this is for free and Faster. So for me, that, that is fantastic. As I mentioned to you in one video, you're going to see what is crucial for you in Elixir and Phoenix. When we talk about Elixir and Phoenix, let's keep work, uh, talk about uh, the Elixir. So for example, you could see that we have a test here. And one of the hardest things when I migrate to another language is that do I have tools for testing easily? And Elixir, we have this. So for example, if I just want to create an application like uh, palindrome, let's talk about this algorithm. So we could say that uh, is palindrome. Uh, so what do we could say here? So right here, maybe, yeah, I think that's fine. So we could say like assert, so, and then we could just use the same module right here. And then we could say is palindrome. And then let's use both examples here. Uh, race car, and it, it, it's gonna say true. And Elixir is fantastic. Now, when I just run the command mix test for testing our application, as you can see, we don't have the function defined. So Elixir guide us for TDD and also Elixir guide us to create a good code. So right here, we could say just like is palindrum. And when we think about a uh, function, think about um, another language like methods and module. Uh, as I mentioned, this is only what you need to understand is basically that if you came from uh, oriented programming language, 
you're gonna see that if, if you think the knowledge that I'm gonna uh, give to you is enough to start using Elixir. Module are classes and functions are, and methods are functions. That's all that you need to know because for me, I was struggling to use Elixir at the beginning to not understand what is the module, think about the module and think about function. But at the end of the day, uh, it's something similar. And that's it. So now we got the word here. You can see word. And then what are we going to do? Let me talk about Elixir. If we do it, and then just run the test again, it's going to return nil, which is no. And then word. Let's just return word for now. And then as you can see, we have the race car. But how about we just use a string dot reverse? We have many ways to do that. And one of the things that I liked of Elixir is that uh, Elixir give us a lot of tools such as, as you could see, uh, the palindrome stuff. But when we talk about Elixir as well, Elixir, we have the string module, so fantastic. We have the email maps. I could uh, share with you all of them, but the most important thing is that uh, if I just keep working with this algorithm, for example, so we finish one code in Elixir, one algorithm in less than uh, 10 minutes of video. When we talk about the Phoenix, let's see one example. So to start a Phoenix application, you could just run mix PHX nil and app underscore name. When you do it, so let me share with you one app that I have created right here. So for free, we already have one Alexa application, full stack, uh, front end, back end, real time as well, uh, with simply uh, with a just simple tool. Uh, with just one command. Also, we did not lose the productivity and how we can test the application. When we talk about Phoenix as well, we have the Phoenix library, which is fantastic for creating our real-time applications and also to create a page with live view. It's so straightforward. But if well, when we start an Elixir uh, live view application, uh, we can just start the server using this command. By default, you could have the Postgres setup on your local machine. Things are gonna be more straightforward, especially if we use, so right here, it's because the database is not uh, set up. So I could just run the command actor dot um, setup. And then we're gonna have the database uh, started. Uh, in this case, I did not start the database right here. Let me just start the database uh, for a moment which is the Postgres. And right here, when you start your uh, Phoenix application, uh, by default, you already have set up the database, the Phoenix, uh, the live view, which is a real-time application. Sending email is so easy because you have the swoosh as well. Um, HTTP request is gonna be more straightforward, handling with the J uh, JSON parser and stuff like that, where Lex is gonna be easier as well. As I mentioned to you, by default, uh, uh, Elixir application starts with Postgres, and by default, when you start your Elixir application, you're going to have the, the configs uh, files as well. You're going to have the tooling for productivity for free, everything in just one command and so fast. Right here, if you just have the database that up, like the username and password and localhost with those set configs here, uh, handling with the database and stuff like that is going to be so fast. You only need to run the command uh, mix actor dot setup of the database. And there you go. And to start your Elixir application, let's just create one page and then we're going to talk about some benefits. When we talk about the live view, I mentioned to you the real time features. Uh, you can just use PubSub for free when we have the uh, live view applications. So, for example, I have already have some videos explaining how uh, live view works. And right here, you could just say like local host for thousand. We have our application. 
And then if you just come over here, so one of the most famous example we have here is the live view application. We could say uh, live. And then we could say um, first live. And then like index, this is gonna be something that I'm gonna share with you. Index. There you go. So when we start and just trying to access our page, Live View will guide us for the next step. So as you can see, hey, you don't have the model with this name. So in, in come over here and just create the live uh, folder, then uh, first live folder and then index.ex. Then we can just create the module using what Phoenix recommend for us, like this. So as you can see in a few minutes, we already have a page here, or we should. Uh, use productivity web, like, there you go. Now it's just saying that, hey, I need, we need the function called render like this. As you could see, you can just copy and paste. And we could say hi. And there you go, we got our page. So one of the most famous examples that we have on uh, Alexa application are account. So to have this function, you could say uh, mount when we start our application. I'm just going to ignore uh, the params in the session and use the socket. And then what we're gonna do is just say like this. Okay, assign a socket. So we're gonna add a variable called count here. And then I'm gonna have like count attributes that we created right here. And as you can see, it's zero. But when we have a button, let's just create a button here with phx click. And I think that's enough if my image is working. Click. That's enough with a plus button. So when we have it, uh, I just have this button here. And if I click, you're going to see that we have an error. But the problem is not because we have an error, but it's because it's guiding us to create this function called handle event right here. So you can just copy this handle event over here and just say, like this. I'm just going to ignore the parameter because you're not going to use that. And then I'm going to have the socket. And then you could say just like no reply and then update a socket where we have the count. And then we could say uh, in one, we are just updating the count plus one. That's all that we need to know. Right here, you just have the router, you just have, you already have a button in action, and then we have the variables, everything in just a few uh, lines of code. And then this is what we have. So I could share with you more examples when you talk about the act or in whatever, but I mentioned to you the productivity. If we use Elixir by the book, so you could just create like a full page application like Mix PHX, Gen Live, a real time application with a lot of features. Like, I want to uh, uh, start in saving, uh, creating cars on my, and I, have, I need to have a page. So, in this way, we could say the context, uh, the schema, and then the table on the database. And then we could say name, for example, name, and then price. It's going to be integer. And when you do it, 
this is my extra tip for you. This is my gift if you are on this video now. So, and when you do it and just space it, as you can see, at the dot migrate, when I run the command, I earned a lot of productivity uh, application where we have a full pages uh, with params, we have tables and all things that you need, we need for our application. And then when we just say cars, we can list our cars, we can create our cars, give the price, saving, and then just say one more thing, and then edit, we have the model. Also, when we click over here, we can list the cars in just, uh, few seconds we could have uh, uh, this kind of feature. So what is my main goal here uh, for you? If you are on this, in this video right now, uh, things that you can learn. If you're just starting, uh, you do need, uh, even though I have a Elixir course, but if you're just starting by yourself, uh, just uh, debugging these pages and trying to understand uh, you have an Elixir Live View application easily. You can start using Elixir just trying to understand the code base that we have created in this video together, which is fantastic. Also, we created the crude for cars, and when we run the test, everything is going to be tested, even the car speed. So if we come over here to our application, and then if we go to the test folder that we saw together, uh, in a couple minutes ago. You're gonna see that we have tests to create a car, to list a car, to click on the button, to um, open the model, create the car, validating if we have some errors over here, check if we get the success message as well, updating the car, everything in just one uh, command, everything successful. Uh, so what you can learn here, if you start Elixir and live view applications, especially live view applications, uh, only using this command and, and follow this architecture, it's not going to be a problem for you to create Elixir applications with live view, even pages, because it will be born tested. Also, uh, I did not mention to you the actual framework, but the crude as well in the backend stuff is going to be tested as well. As you can see, we have 19 tests without failures. And when we run the command dash dash cover, I use other tools for coverage. But as you can see, we have 78% of our application coverage, so which is fantastic as well. And some of them, if you start testing your Elix application, will be tested too if coverage is something that really matters for you. So what else that I can share with you about Elixir application? Trying to understand this code and that will be enough for you to use a new language and a new framework. So that's my final uh, thoughts for you. Thank you for uh, joining on this video uh, and this journey with Elixir and Phoenix in just one video. I hope this video will be helpful for you to uh, maybe take the decision to Elixir being your next language. Everything that I shared with you in just one video is what I wanted to have five years ago. Uh, if someone wanted to move me uh, and help me to understand Elixir faster. Uh, please subscribe if that makes sense for you and bye bye.